Um, in this one, we're going to talk about the count LRU cache misses. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, LRU cache, um, you can. It's basically a, a least recently used cache. Usually, it has you know some size. So let's read the question. A virtual memory management system has an LRU cache. When a requested memory page is not in the cache and the cache is full, the page that was least recently used should be removed from the cache to make room for the requested page. If the cache is not full, the requested page can be simply added to the cache and considered the most, basically the very first thing that is now at the head of the cache. A given page should occur at most once. And given the maximum size, write an algorithm that calculates number of misses. So basically, what this problem is asking is given this list and the size of the cache, every time we insert an element to the cache, if it is not already in the cache, we count that as a miss. So in this case, if you look here, um, one, two, one, three, one, two, one, two, one, three, one, two. Yeah, so if we imagine the cache to be this like thing of size two, um, we first uh, try to insert a one. So as you can see, one does not exist. So we increment um, our misses, misses, and we add one to the cache. So one is kind of at the top and then Let's get a, out an eraser. Is there an eraser? Lag. Um, pencil. So now we're at two. Two does not exist in the cache. So we increment this and we add the two. Let's go to the, basically whatever. Um, the next pointer is one. Oh, does one exist in the cache? Yes, it does. So we do not increment this and we don't add anything. You go to three. 3 does not exist, so we increment, and uh, here's a cool question, it's like what do we what do we remove from the cache, right, 1 or 2? Well, since 1 was actually added before the 2, if we kind of look back in this order, 1 was added way after 2, we actually removed 2 out of the cache. So in this case, let's get an eraser, let's take 2 out of here. And now I'm going to put three. What is going on with this thing? Very bad. I put three. And now we get to one again. One exists right here. So we don't do anything. And then we go to two. And as you can see, um, one again was accessed recently, but three wasn't. So we actually take out the, the three. And we, since two is not here, we increment this. And then we get, let's take out an eraser, remove the, remove this thing, grab a pencil, and two, and we're done. As you can see, one and two were the most recently accessed. And our answer is four. So how do you code this, right? Um, there's multiple ways to do this question, of which one is at least in my opinion, is the most correct answer. Uh, I think the best I can do on this question is O of N um, time <clears throat> and O of K space, um, where K is basically the biggest um, cache size. Or, yeah, M is like the cache size. Or sorry, K is the cache size. What am I saying, M? So if we have a thousand in things to insert and the cache size is 50, we at most are going to use 50 space. And we're going to go through all, obviously, all n things to insert them. So the way we solve this problem is actually using a linked list, the W linked list and a map. And I'm going to get into the code because the code takes a little while, but hopefully it'll be evident as to why. But the basic idea is um, the basic idea is you have a head node um, that points to something and that points to some node 
one and you know this thing points to the tail um, in this in this in this fashion and if you want to basically if you're adding a new node um, you want to add it to the head so node I um, you essentially change this nodes um, you point this node to go to that node and this node to go to this node and then you also kind of do this with the head and you remove this so it creates that or if you have for example a node that already exists inside this thing which you look up with the map in all one um, time yeah if some node already exists you basically want to pop that node out um, do the same thing right so move it to the head and then you also want to do some checks on the tail um, basically since this is currently pointing to the tail you actually want the thing that was before it to point to the tail so it's basically just uh, w linked list kind of manipulation a lot of it's happening but hopefully the solution so what we're going to do is we're going to grab we're going to grab this code here i'm just going to write out the test case uh, so print cache misses and we're just going to put this test case six this list into all right so um First thing we want to do is we want to create our that lookup map. We can call it lookup. We want to create uh, the idea of a node. Where you have um, basically soft at value equals value. And you have self dot like next equals nothing and self dot previous is nothing this is your w linked list node and here we want a head which is just node with you know value of, of nothing basically and tail all right so we got our head um, where's our sketch yeah we need to create these this guy and this guy they're always going to be there. Uh, we need our thing for misses. And I also like to have a thing called the size, which is the size, the current size of the, that's always going to be less than or equal to this, to this value. Um, so basically the way this works, is we start going through each value. So for n and pages. So two things can happen at each sort of step. Either this value exists or this value does not exist. Um, so the way to check that is basically say if n in lookup, this value exists. Otherwise, it obviously does not exist. So we're gonna this value is not in the cache yet. So in this case, what happens? It's a miss. So we increment the misses. Um, we're gonna increment the size because we are always gonna insert this value. And then uh, this is where it, it gets a little interesting, right? So we're gonna create our node with the value of n. And so we said that when we create a new value, we want to insert it at the head. So first thing, let's play around with this value a little bit here. So we're going to say node.next. Well, since this is going to be the first value, we want it to point to the next value. And the next value is, well, what used to be the old first value, which is currently what head points to. Also, let me mention here that um, the heads next should be tail initially 
and the tails previous should be next. Um, or sorry, head. Right. Okay. So if we're inserting a value, its next value should actually be head dot next. So whatever head is 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 is, is currently pointing to, that's going to be our um, next value and our previous value. Well, it's going to be head since it's going to be the first value. Head's always going to be kind of before it. So that's fine. So now we've kind of got our node connected, but the rest of the list is is, is not very much connected. Um, the first value is previous should be this node. Right, if we have something like uh, head points to five, right, and we want to insert a three, well, the head needs to point to three, which needs to point to five. So this covers that five points to three part. Um, this covers the three points to five part. Um, this covers the um, three points to head. And the last thing we got to cover is, well, head.next is now node, right? So in this case, we've inserted something at, at the head of the list. The only problem is we have this maximum size um, so if we inserted this value, there's a chance that this uh, this list has overflowed. And the way to check that is you basically say, well, if the size of the list is greater than max cache size, right? So in this case, the list overflowed. We want to look at what's happening in the tail. So this points to the tail. And if our lid maximum list size was one, we got to pop out this five. So what's going to happen is we're going to say something like uh, tail that previous is equal to tail dot previous dot previous and tail dot previous dot previous dot next is equal to tail. So this is kind of a way of saying if we have one that goes to two that goes to tail, right? We basically want to say um, tail. Now instead of pointing to two, it points to whatever was previous to two, so it points to one. And one instead of pointing to two now points to tail. And then what we also want to do is we want to decrease the size here since we have now basically removed this too. It's still in memory somewhere. And if you're like using C, you would do like a free, but I don't think we care about this kind of stuff in an interview. You don't have enough time to care about memory management. Um, so that's kind of the idea here, right? Um, create a node. You set it up, um, and you know if it's the if it over if the tail overflowed, you basically fix the tail. Now, let's think about um, if n actually exists in the lookup. Well, let's get it. Let's let's get the node. Um, right now we basically have some situation where we have some stuff. Then we have previous that goes to a node and goes to next. So one of the ideas here is basically this. Well, you're gonna have um, a node at previous dot next is equal to node.next, whereas uh, node.next.previous is equal to node.previous. 
right? So you're kind of like saying previous now points to next and next backward pointer now points to previous. Um, and then we also got to insert at the head. So I think we can literally do the same idea here um, and just insert at the head and just uh, return misses. If I'm not missing anything, so here we got six misses, which is, oh, okay. Well, think why we got six minutes. So when we add a thing, we obviously forgot to add it to the lookup. Lookup n is equal to node. And then when we delete it, we want to delete lookup at uh, tail at previous dot value. Okay. So I wonder if this will work. Non type has no attribute next. I just have to reverse order on these. Oh, there we go. 